Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is going to cover how you can give permission to your dynamic menu. So I'll be talking about user wise permission like to a particular to a particular person which page you want to display to that person. So let me just give you a recap till now what I have done and so first I have created one menu panel from which you can add the menu and second panel is to add sub menu then I have displayed the menu in navbar so now I am moving to user permission so in this video I will create a panel for user permission like for adding permission according to a user so let me show you the database structure for menu user access there are five columns menu id the menu id for which menu we are going to add the permission after that user id to which per user we are giving the permission and last one is user permission so that will have a true or false value that is permission is given or not so after that user table there is name department status so let's move to code now in menu file add the link for permission that is user permission.php create the file with the same name after that copy the basic structure from the index file that is head menu and footer now copy the container and give the heading to the page that is user permission so before that moving forward let me just define the steps what I'm going to do firstly I'm going to create a form to select user after that I'm going to redirect like after submitting the form I'm going to redirect to the list of menu which will have an option for permission that is true or false that will be a drop down so after selecting the options for different menu like there will be all menu listed so and after that selecting the permission whether it's true or false I'm going to insert the permission into the table so that's what I'm going to show you in this video so let me just quickly create a form with method post and action is blank right now and after that just create a div with form group inside that there will be a select option that will have all the user list so write select with class form control and label it that is a select user give the name to select user that is user id write option that is with value blank first one is select user and make it required after that i am going to fetch all the user list so just copy from the menu list and paste it here now change that is select star from users where users did is equals to enable and also change the variables for of the query or like just change to user list and in by loop send uh, create an option and send the value that is user id and display as a text of 
drop down that is username so let's move to database and let me add one user so for username i'm going to write knowledge and for department i'm going to use admin and status is going to be available and hit enter now my one row is inserted into the database so let's check it in the permission tab if i'll go permission there you can see here there is a drop down of select user and in which knowledge you can see so after that let me add a submit button so for that define a div with class form group and write input type submit name is going to be permission underscore update class is going to be btn btn primary and give action that is user permission list.php and let's create the file with the same name and let's check it in browser refresh the page and after selecting user click on submit button it's going to the next page that is user permission list so now in this file we are going to copy the basic structure from index file copy the heading portion also so after that i need to create a form in which i will fetch all my menu so for that i am going to create a table with t head and tr inside which i am going to write menu sub menu with third column going to be permission after that i am going to write t body in which i am going to write my menu query so select star from some menu inner join with menu on menu dot menu id equals to sub menu dot menu id where sub menu status is going to be enabled so after that execute the query and fetch the data in while loop inside while loop start a row with td is going to be a uh, first one is menu name second one is sub menu name and third one is going to be a drop down so for that write a select with name user permission class form control with option going to be value true and false first one is going to be false so let's check it's working or not so let's move to browser select user and after submit and there you can see it's sub menu is showing an error so let's resolve that okay we have fetched the wrong column so it's going to be some menu name so again move to browser and refresh now you can see menu with sub menu and permission that is false and true so let's go and save our permission into the database so for that user permission is going to be in array as it's going to be multiple write input type submit with name permission submit with class btn btn primary and with value is going to be update so after that what we need is user id so that we have you know selected from the main menu like from main form so from there fetch the user id into post and just cut from here these two line and 
just paste on the top of the file after that in form write method post and action blank an input type hidden name is going to be user id again and value is going to be user id so this will be inserted as to which user permission is going to be accessed so in action now i am going to pass user permission db.php now create this file with the same name first one is going to be include database.php after that check in is set that is post your submit button is submitted or not so it's going to be a name permission submit underscore also fetch user id and check if user id is not blank because that's necessary because you should know right for which user you are giving permission so that should be inserted so for user permission it's going to be fetched in a for each as a key value pair after that we are going to write insert query now for insert query go to database menu user access table and in which code true sql and in that click on insert and just take the columns that you need remove all the other things remove all the values and after that copy and paste that in the insert query variable so before that i need one more thing is that i need input type hidden and that's going to be menu id and value is going to be not it's going to be menu id after that second hidden field that's going to be sub menu id wait that's going to be an array so that's also we are going to fetch in for each so just copy the name and paste that do the same for sub menu id and paste that in db file now pass all these three variables that is user permission menu id and sub menu id in the insert query after that execute the query and at last print that is alert permission is added successfully and window location is going to be index.php refresh the browser choose the permission you want i am giving category true user true and one is going to be false so let's update that permission is added successfully and let's check it in the database there you can see three rows are inserted two with true value and one with false value so now let's again go to permission and select user now you can see these three are showing false so now we will need to change the first one to true as we have set them to true so let's do that so now what i need to do is i need to fetch the permission for the particular menu so for that write a query that is permission query in which i'm going to write select star from menu user access where sub menu id will be equal to my sub menu id that is i passed in hidden and user id is going to be that i get from my main form 
that is going to be user id so that's like basically which menu and to which user permission is granted so after that i need to execute the query using my sqli query change the variable name and fetch the permission after fetching the permission display that permission so for displaying that we need one more option so for, for that we need to check if permission that is user permission is like having any value or not so pass that inside if after that write value and in value i'm going to pass the user permission and same i'm going to pass as a text of the option inside option tag so let's now move to browser and check if it's display the value or not so there you can see now it's first two are showing true and the last one is showing false so that's what we need so now last thing that is remaining is if you will see we have written an insert query right so every time we will add a permission so it will have multiple entries for the same menu so that we don't need so what we need to do is we need to delete the previous entries and insert the new entries so for that write a delete query from menu user access where for that user we are going to delete so pass the user id and we are going to delete all the permission and insert all new permissions so execute the query so let's check in browser so firstly you will see there are three rows now let's change the permission and submit again now you can see there is one to three id and after submit there you can see it's four five six and other new entries are inserted so there is no duplicacy for like two permissions or for me same menu so that is removed now so let me summarize all the things what i have done i have shown you a permission add panel for a particular user and after that i'll show you how you can remove the duplicacy so that there will be no two permission for same menu so that's how you can add permission panel so in my next video i will show you how you can set those permission on the menu so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel